Traditionally, inspection with a CMM is often performed only at the completion of an assembly or machining process. One mold maker has a different way. At Die Tech and Engineering, near Grand Rapids, Michigan, inspecting electrodes or components during the mold build process helps prevent surprises and big problems at final inspection. The slow speed of traditional contact CMMs can be a limitation. At roughly one point per second or less, thorough inspection can take a lot of time. A laser scanning CMM is much faster, normally collecting thousands of points per second. A laser scanner works by reflecting light off a surface. The reflected light is measured by its location on a sensor, much like a camera. The location is then triangulated to measure each point's offset from the laser. Die Tech and Engineering's Bill Barry was being pressured to buy a traditional CMM by his customers. I avoided buying the CMM until that point because in my opinion, there was not a value add to, to owning one of those pieces of equipment because it was too late. You, you were just getting a scorecard on what you already did, not a way to improve or prevent mistakes. Investigation revealed that a fast laser scanning CMM could offer a better solution, but only if you used it during the process, not at the end. For many years we were, we were very aware that some of the big problems that can come in the manufacturing of dyes and molds are you know, during the build process with all of the various components, especially in the EDM area that we use. And, uh, we didn't have a good way to inspect those. Um, we, we incorporated a laser scanning CMM into our operations so that we could do in-process gauging and reduce the number of mistakes that we had and improve the quality before we complete the die. Scanning all of the electrodes before they were used helped ensure that EDM processes were error-free. Once installed, Ditech found more uses for its scanning laser CMM. Initially, that was our concept. We're just gonna, we're gonna, we need to make sure that our electrodes are precise enough in the correct position, programmed correctly to use. Um, but we had enough capacity in the machine that we also integrated scanning of separate, discrete components like core pins that would uh, validate the uh, machining operations that were many times done um, by skilled craftsmen outside of the control of the engineering department um, on conventional grinding equipment or, or other methods. And the risk for not completely inspecting those things was so great that we found a way to inspect them with very little additional cost. Note the simplicity of setup for scanning these core pins. A generic setup sheet for the core pin scanning is simply taped onto a blank pallet and the pins are then just set on that drawing to identify them. The scanning laser software automatically finds each pin's alignment based on the scan data. Today, DiTech not only inspects the electrodes before they go into the EDM, the shop also verifies the burn setup instructions on the virtual part. The electrode is scanned, the burn setup instructions from the toolpath department are entered into the laser scanning CMM system, and then the scanned electrode data is located on the part's detail. This provides complete verification of the electrode and burn process in a virtual environment before the steel is burned in the EDM. Here's an error discovered by the laser scanning CMM. Each electrode was properly designed and setup instructions were correct. Still, when burned in the insert, 
the clearance portion of one electrode would have violated the steel on the adjacent geometry in one of its burn positions. The laser scanning CMM caught the problem in the virtual world before actually starting to burn the real insert. The violating area was relieved from the electrodes, averting a big problem. At DiTech, the shop doesn't only inspect after machining is already done. For EDM, the shop thoroughly inspects before machining, so errors never make it to the real world. 